Yeah. <laughs> uh, should we do it again? Yes. <laughs> um, good evening. I have Joel here with me. I just met him at the Odile Willems uh, ballpark. And I spoke, I asked him if he wanted to narrate the game for me. So Joel have a nice story. And he will tell a little more about himself. And then he will continue narrating the game. Welcome, Joel, and thank you for being so spontaneous. Thank you so much. Positive vibes here with Gloria. Um, I appreciate the hospitality at this game in Curaçao at the moment. Well, we, we're both passionate about the game of basketball, obviously, and it just spontaneously brought us together tonight. We're watching the girls' game at the moment, and uh, as Gloria and I shared the experience with you online, um, I'll chime in from time to time, and uh, basketball's been a, a life experience in itself for me. It's taught me character, uh, helped me in school to perform well, because sports do support uh, excellence in school if they're managed well and what we're seeing right now is definitely a well-balanced game uh, the major saying hill competitive there we go yeah the audience is participating uh, Gloria if we can let's introduce the two teams at the moment Yes, so, got uh, on the Spartans, number six, Caitlin. Uh, Jasmine is uh, number six on uh, the Spartans. Shania is number seven. And uh, Mia, number eight. Got Ria on number at number nine, back number nine. And we have uh, Maya, number 11. I'm, I must adjust there. Yep, we've got Mia at number 9, Ria at 10, and Maya at 11. Yeah, we got Esa Isabella as number 15, and Vipasha is number 13. Shechel is number 14 on the team. Dasha is number 17. And the coaches, Miss Aveline. Assistant coach, Miss Janine. And uh, now I'll give over to uh, Gloria when it comes to Team A. Let's see how we this is nothing for me. Okay, here we go. Um, number five, we have Dwayna. Mm -hmm. Number six, we have Divan. Divani, Divanis. Mm -hmm. Number nine, we have Sia. And 17, we have Mega. Mm -hmm. 11, we have Ace. And number 12 is Mega. Um, number 16 is Shane. Number 14 is Alejandra. And number 15 is Deli. Well, so far we've noticed a very competitive uh, edge, and uh, if we look at the score at this point, uh, it's even. Panthers four, Spartans four. B-ball, basketball, the game of basketball is all about character right now. Um, free throws being taken, number 11. The Spartans, Maya, just took a free throw, missed that one. Balls to be inbounded at this point. Spartan possession. Long pass up to number 16, top of the key. Number 15, still Spartans possession. It's a bit of a struggle for the team, but they're working on it. Indecision, there we go. All right. Possession change. Spartans now on defense. First attempt. They claim the ball. Good rebound. Got challenges there. We have a travel with Maya. Maya number 11 on the Spartans. A bit hesitant. I must say the audience is really into it. We've got Coach Evelyn working her magic.
Alright, we've got the Panthers. What a turnover. Devonese attempted, but now we've got an attempt by the Spartans again. Rebound, outbound. Panthers possession. Got an attempt. Oh, and a score. Turnover on possession. Jump ball. Yeah, that was a Panther score. All right, current current score is six four. Spartans on top. Solo attempt by Maya. She was fouled on on the layup. She gets two attempts in free throw. Number six, Maya on the Panther side. There you go, first free throw. No good. She takes a moment to recover. You can feel the tension in the hall. Everybody's into it. And it's good. There's strong defense on both sides. Also, you can see the skill level is very well matched. The girls work well together as a team. Yep, that was a rejection. Spartan 7, Panthers 4. Panthers ball possession right now. And attempt, three point attempt, and it's good. Maya goes for three. <laughs> that was Stephanie's. Heavy double team. The girls are definitely competitive in this game. Panthers possession. Stephanie's bringing up the ball right now. Pass straight to the bucket. Oh, and a miss. See, I missed that one. We got a return right now. Spartans going in. Number 11, Maya. Spartans 10, Panthers 4. We got some uh, trades coming in. Spartan side. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yet another solo. Solo by Japanese. Three point attempt. No good. Panthers possession. Quick breakaway. There we go. Up for the layup. She misses it. Another shot, good. Spartans catching up. One point, we've got Daphne's number six. Passes the ball on the right wing. Makes a three point attempt and it's good. Three points, yet another one. Scores more than doubled on the Spartan side. 
but the Panthers aren't giving up. Here she comes again. That's Stephanie's another attempt. Hard work. We've got some substitutes coming in on the Panther side. We had two subs. Hustle, hustle, hustle. And Daphne's has possession of the ball. Up. There we go. An attempt, first attempt, second attempt, and it's good. Another two points for the Panthers. Turnover. Hustle, hustle. Daphne goes up for the... Ooh. Got a lot of fancy shots going on here tonight, guys. And that's the yes. <laughs> For everyone tuning in, it's a pleasant evening here. Good weather in the Open Door Stadium. The Panthers versus the Spartans tonight. Got some more substitutions on the Panther side coming in. Coach Evelyn and uh, Coach Janine are well managing their team at the moment. Everybody gets some play time. Two free throws. Maya on uh, the Panther side, uh, the, excuse me, the Spartans at this moment, is going to attempt through free throws. She's being instructed to stay behind the line while she attempts these. fundamentals it's all part of the game and we're playing good regulation here first attempt second attempt everybody ready for D Anticipation and another shot, and everybody's ready for a rebound. No good, air ball. Now the audience is chiming in, they're excited. <laughs> First attempt, yet another one. Called a uh, defensive foul on the Spartans. Panthers ball possession. Two free throws. First attempt is good. Current score 17 to 6. Spartans leading. Second wasn't good. Three-point attempt. Good rebound by the Spartans. And another shot attempt. Rebound. No good. And that's part of the first quarter. This is a very competitive match. Everybody's into it and the spirits are high. Curacao, pleasant weather. We've got the officials, the team, everybody's having a great time. It's basketball time. Good vibes.
Game's back on. We've had a little huddle. Uh, the two coaches. Female co coaches are definitely on fire tonight. Um, got the Spartans at 6 and uh, the Panthers at 18. Let's travel. Turnover. Ball possession. Spartans. Number 14 inbounding to the Spartans. Heavy defense. Heavy defense. Yep, double teaming. They're putting all forces on by the Panthers. This is excellent defense. Passing. And another attempt. Panthers. Rebound. Oh. A bit of hesitation, but they're working on it. I love the effort of this game. Pure fundamentals. The girls are having fun. There we go. Another attempt. Good rebound by the Spartans. Fast break by the Spartans. Goes up. Turnover. What a steal. What a steal. That defense is hardcore. These girls are on it. And it's good. Two points. Two points for the Spartans. They take their time. They're passing the ball efficiently, sharing the ball. And she penetrates all the way to the bucket. And it's good. Very skillful player. She's been leading her team very well. Turnover. And yet another attempt. Good defense on their part, the Spartans. Coach is getting very excited over there. Yes. <laughs> well, both coaches are into it. Yes. <laughs> Coach Shanine kind of took her stance now. She's ready. And another attempt to the center. Three seconds, that's a turnover. One thing I can tell you is that both of these teams are sharing the ball very well. Everybody is passing. They know it's a team game and not an individual game. They know when to lead and when to follow. They're listening to their coaches and that, that's something very essential in basketball that I noticed the culture is showing here. Another three-point attempt. Spartans ball possession. Another attempt, she rebounds her own, and she gets the bucket. Follow through, she went to follow up for her bucket and she got it. Panthers quick pass, indecision, and she goes in for another. Hustle, hustle. Ball possession, Spartans. Travel. Yeah, a bit of hesitation. There, there is a, a challenge, a bit of a challenge on the side of the Spartans at times. Um, a, a bit of uh, intimidation by the other team. Uh, positive intimidation, nothing negative. But uh, you can tell that there is a bit more experience on the side of the Panthers. They also have a great playmaker, uh, number six on the team, knows how to direct her team to do what's necessary for them to ultimately score. Another attempt and good defense, very good defense on the Spartans. Fast break, looks up and attempt foiled. Panthers possession. There, she knows for the fast break, ready. That defense is tough. We've got a lot of height on the uh, Spartans' end of things. Uh, the girls work well together down low, and they don't always allow an easy bucket. Another attempt. Rebound by the Spartans. Number 16's been getting a lot of rebounds. Goes up, and she scores. Mm, 
coach is quite emotional. Um, it happens. The call doesn't always go our way, but they got the point and are now ball possession on the other side. It can happen. There's a bit of a communication there, trying to sort it out. You, you can always plead with the referee, and I think she's done it professionally. She didn't go out of bounds in her communication. So, um, two shots. It was seen as a defensive foul. So, the offending team does get... An extra attempt, the bucket counted. First attempt, no good. But there's a rebounder on the team, hard work. And Panthers go for it, fast break. Up, she goes. Panthers rebound. Spartans possession. That was good hustle. Just in general, the girls hustle, hustle. They, they're active on defense and active on offense. Both teams, it's very, very competitive. Number 10 being the point at this moment. A bit of dribble skill, looks up, looks for her teammates on the key. And Panthers, possession, passes the ball. Goes up for an attempt, defensive foul. Defensive foul, number 10 on the Spartan side. So the Panthers get an attempt, they get two shots. First attempt. She'll have to try again. One more shot. Rebound by the Spartans. Quick passes, fast break, and out of bounds. These girls have a lot of work ethic, uh, to be honest, uh, at their level and their skill base. They are hustling constantly. It's a high tempo game. Another attempt by the Spartans. The Panthers up one. Oh, and it's in and out. Spartans ball possession. Everybody on the Panther side going on defense. They're putting on press. Yep, and the ball gets stripped. What a steal. Panthers on defense. Panthers on offense. And another attempt. Rebound by the Spartans. Number 16. Yet another attempt and it's good. Current score is 21 of 14. Defensive foul call. On number six, Spartans. First free throw attempt. Yep, it's a challenge. Those are fundamentals, basics. One more attempt. Everybody ready on defense. There she is, ready to hit it. 
Yeah, battle, jump ball, good hustle. And uh, you might have heard even uh, Coach Janine already saying, you wait what er gaat gebeuren. Yes, she's got them definitely programmed to be on defense and take possession of the ball. So it's Panthers possession right now. Number 10 inbounding. Number six, the point guard going in. Passes back, an attempt, defense, and yet another hustle. Out of bounds. Well, that was good hustle. Uh, happened to be out of bounds. Coach Janine is telling everybody to go back on defense and get ready. Since they're on top, they, they've got the advantage right now when it comes to the score. And another attempt. Yep, everybody rebounding and it's still, they're hustling. This is getting serious. <laughs> I think the referees are doing a great job at uh, allowing the girls to be competitive without any kind of overboard going or uh, injuries. Everybody's been safe so far and uh, it's a nice clean game. I love it. Spartans possession, passes the ball to number 11 on top of the key to the center, number 6 and a goal attempt. Yet another one. Here's, it, here's where the skills come in because that heavy defense on the Panther side is so huge. <laughs> yeah. The girls definitely know what to do. Sub going in. Got number 13 sub in for number six. Spartans possession on top of the key. Got number 10. She's been the point guard so far. Got a lot of height. An attempt. First three, three, three point attempt. Panthers possession. All the way. First attempt. Number 15 rebounds in. I like how uh, the coaches are allowing everybody on the team to play. Um, we see, yes, we see that there's a, a points advantage. So the coach Janine uh, put in uh, her second string of players. They're not the starters, but they get play time as well. And uh, this is important for team spirit that the less experienced players get to play with. Yes. So there's an attempt. Number seven did that on the Panthers side. Still their ball possession, good defense by the Spartans. Speak about spontaneity. My friend Gloria just, she knows, you could tell that uh, I'm passionate about the, the ball game. Well, I'm, I'm privileged to take part in this because I love the sport of basketball. Again, uh, my godfather uh, introduced me to the game. I, I was a teenager whenever I had the privilege to play high school basketball in Oklahoma. I'm originally from Suriname. And uh, it helped me to form character, learn to share, learn to be disciplined. Um, Yes, indeed, indeed, and correct, and it and it helps with your academics if it is balanced, if if it is a reward and a privilege that you can partake in, and you know that you know it's not all about play, 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 but there's work also, and the game of basketball is now even a career for many, so um, many of these uh, girls can make chance to further their education and uh, look at scholarships in the future or just uh, play this as a fun um, 
game to keep in shape. I mean, uh, as we see the women that are coaching them, they definitely still partake in the game and are passionate about the game. And uh, that's character building all around. So uh, the girls are huddling. It's about time to resume the game. And again, Gloria got me here. <laughs> People, <laughs> no, this is a b-ball experience I will never forget. <laughs> yes, positive indeed. Spartans on defense. Number six, the point guard at the Panthers goes in for a free. Good defense on the Spartan side, travel on the Spartans. Turnover. Panthers ball possession. Yet another exciting moment in the game. We get a substitution. Panthers ball possession. The center gets it at number six. Venise going in. Heavy defense on the Spartan side. Turnover. Oh, it's a struggle out there. There we go. Jump ball. Now that's hustle. I haven't seen a lot of guys hustle like this. <laughs> the, this yes. The girls are going all out. <laughs> Taking a moment. The referee uh, dealing with the table and the coaches at the moment, sorting things out. The score is a 21 to 14. Ball possession, Panthers. New player in, number 17. She'll inbound the ball. Yet another substitution on the Spartan side. Stephanie's has definitely been leading her game um, as a point guard. She's one of the anchor players of the team. You can tell she hasn't been substituted yet. So she's playing the full game. Um, that takes a lot of conditioning and a lot of cardio. But uh, she seems to be in uh, good focus. She's leading, explaining what the others should do. Yep, good defense on the Panther side. No intimidation, keeps it clean. There we go. Spartans hustling and it's a turnover. That's what defense does. Good defense and she's leading her team all the way. Goes up and she scores. She's an all-around player because she's not just leading her team in scoring but also in defense. Spartans on the offense right now. A bit of hesitation. A lot of height on that team. Tall girls. Goes up for a shot. Misses it. Panthers possession. She's telling the team to go ahead. Evanese is in control of her team and she's penetrating again. Layup. Up. Misses it. Passes the ball back. She has to make a decision and shoots. It's good. It's good. She came in through the clutch. Well, got uh, definitely supporters on the Spartans and the. Uh, on the side of the Panthers. Got some excited fans. 
<laughs> Time out and uh, Coach Janine is high-fiving her team. She's happy with the results so far. She can be pr proud of her coaching and her teamwork. Uh, what's uh, very remarkable is that not a moment do the Spartans back off because they're not looking at the score. They're just hustling, and as you can tell right now, they're uh, picking up spirits. Uh, the coach is definitely encouraging them to keep their spirits high. And... Um, that's remarkable. That's a uh, character because a lot of times people want to give up during this time of the game. Yeah, but the girls are, they're, they're stretching, they're communicating well with each other and uh, everybody's got a positive attitude. And uh, On the side of the Panthers, again, they're not celebrating yet. They're still focused on uh, being productive in the game. She's giving them direct instructions on how to pass a little better and look at each other and not be unaware and run around without focus so ball back in and it is Spartans possession Panthers on defense they're applying a press man-to-man -man press girl-to-girl -girl press sorry for the lingo <laughs> Panther possession moving forward on offense. She passes the ball. One attempt. Rebound Spartans. They hustle back to oh. We, we've got a little sniper there that went for the steal. <laughs> and another attempt, free throw. Oh, they're very, very on top of their defense right now. Panthers just hustling all the way. They've shown dominance the whole game. Passing a three-point attempt, no good. Timeout, Panthers. Time out Panthers, little huddle. I like how she focuses, uh, speaking of Coach Janine, and, and um, in particular, how her demeanor is with the girls. Uh, she doesn't get bent out of shape or too um, out of focus. She knows how to speak to them in a way where it's contactual. And um, you can tell that they trust her. They, they trust her in what she says. They're very, very directed toward what she wants them to do. And um, she, she manages emotions well. That, that is something that uh, is hard to find in coaches nowadays. <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> but, uh, I, yeah, I, might say, I may say I've seen very good sportsmanship. Um, sports womanship <laughs> so far in the game and uh, it's pleasant to see uh, like a refreshing uh, side of the game because the game is still under development here in Curaçao and this is a it's a good sign so Panthers possession still the, the playmaker in the game Devanese she distributes the ball she's going in That's it. 25 to 14. Amazing. Amazing. Guys, girls, if you're online, thanks for tuning in. This has been uh, an amazing experience. A surprise. <laughs> I want to thank Gloria for just uh, welcoming me. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a bon bini here for me. And... Uh, I am so appreciative of the fact that I can partake in the sport from a different angle. I usually coach and this time I get to observe and share with you what we're seeing on screen. 
But again, uh, sportsmanship is at top, and that's what brings quality to the game here. Um, these are young women that have futures ahead of them, and uh, you can tell that there's good character coming from the coaches because not a bad word was spoken, no altercation, and I think these are the things that the adults should take example from in this community because the girls know how to communicate with each other despite the fact that it gets competitive and uh, the professionals involved, Coach Janine and uh, on the other side, what is the coach's name? Janine and Jerome. Jerome, yes, Coach Jerome. Uh, very exemplifying adults to these uh, students and uh, basketball pupils. So I want to hand over the mic. It's been an awesome experience. I'm going to hand over the mic to, <laughs> to Gloria. It was a pleasure. It was a pleasure just having you here with me. Um, uh, the surprise was great. When I saw you, I was like, let me just take a try. And you did a perfect job. Thank you again. And hope to see you at uh, the next. Uh, Definitely. <laughs> Thank you. you got me. Thank OK, bye-bye. <laughs> Thank you.
it's the second half of the game. We're just having a, a chat, a good time chat. And uh, the Spartans are in possession of the ball. Got defense heavy on the Spartan side. A steal going up for the bucket. Oh, misses it. Spartans back in possession of the ball. There's a bit of indecision and a steal. Ball handling going on. Lead, team lead again. There we go. Another attempt, misses it, and Spartans break away. Heading toward the bucket. Calm down, and a bucket attempt, misses it. Panthers in possession of the ball. She's been working the whole game, number six. There she is. Yes. She's strong on it, definitely. And Panthers go up, up. That's, that's definitely a team leader. Um, she's explaining to them, when you're down low, definitely go up and don't be intimidated. You gotta, somebody gotta throw in the ball, get ready. She is. And she goes up for the layup, misses it. But there's a rebound, goes up for the rebound. Spartans possession. Scores 25 to 14. Panthers are leading. Missed pass. Spartans still got possession of the ball. Double teaming. Heavy double teaming from the Panthers. A bit of calm in the game, but there's not enough time to go around when you have a breakaway. There she goes. Well, that was a good attempt. Defense on the Spartans' side made sure that uh, the Panthers couldn't score yet. Inbound, Panthers ball, goes up for the attempt, misses it, Spartans rebound. Spartans on offense. That defense, Panther defense is very aggressive, very heavy. Break away. Up, and she scores. Another Panther point. Long passes, up for the layup. And Spartans finally score. Score 27, 16. Panthers leading. Passes again to the center. Another attempt, air ball. Spartans in possession of the ball. Number 11 going up, shot up, rebound, Panthers possession of the ball. Daphne still leading, passes the ball to her mates. Heavy defense by Spartan, break away. And she's there, they're there to hustle again. Defense, they don't give up. Daphne's leading again, passes the ball. Number 10 goes up and it's a four. 29 to 16. Spartans on the, Spartans on offense, trying to even it up. Layup, no good. Wasn't ready for the ball, hot potato. I think we've got a bit of a exhaustion. Um, well, cramps. Uh, Daphne's has been struggling with shin splints. That's why you see the uh, coach doing some stretching for her. Uh, shin splints is really common in bas young basketball players that grow tall. Um, the key is not to exert the player too much because um, the muscle kind of splits up between the shin and the rest of the 
calves. So her coach is helping her deal with the pain and that long sock is really what you need all the time to keep the muscle close to the shin. And then she'll have to walk it off. Yet another stretch. This is time out. Um, she's aware that she, she's been dealing with this obviously uh, from a lot of experience. So the coach will help her cope with it. She's been playing the whole game. So now it's exhaustion is setting in. Yeah, uh, she'll have to walk it off. She played an awesome game. That's uh, Daphne's played an awesome game. She led the whole way. And uh, now she just has to take a break to avoid injury. Well, the spread on the game is uh, very large. It's 29 to 16, so a 13 point difference. And uh, the Panthers are safe. So they're playing with their second string. Out of bound. Coach Jerome calling for defense on the Spartans end. The Panthers leading the way. Second string to the center. Defense on the part of the Spartans. Intercept the ball. Heavy defense on Spartans in. And it's good. Panthers score another two points. 31-16, current score. Oh, offensive foul. Defensive foul, correction. Panthers possession. The bench is doing really well. Got a uh, effort, a list, little less height on the team right now when it comes to the Panthers, but their hustle makes up for all that. Another pass to the center. Another attempt. Good rebound on the on the Spartan side. Spartan advancing. They're trying to catch up to the score and take advantage of the uh, mismatch in height. A three-point attempt, no good. Panthers ball possession. Coach Janine asked for safety reasons that the kids do not play uh, in the background in case a ball rolls over on the court and uh, trip somebody so she's very conscious about distractions and prefers no distraction to her coaching <laughs> yep and she was right <laughs> Panthers ball possession they got a finger on it but yet to the center and attempt rebound by Panthers number 17 Oh, she's going for a jump ball. <laughs> That's Dasha. Dasha definitely took a challenge there. And it's paying off because it's still Panthers possession. We've got Jasmine inbounding the ball to Rhea. Rhea on to Mia. Oh, good defense on part of the the Spartans, they're not letting it in easy. A bit of indecision and they got a hand on it. Ball attempt, number 13. Kipasha and it's a score. I admire the courage on the Spartan side. They've, uh, they've witted, oh, and that was a good attempt on um, Dasha's uh, side to 
defend and try to take possession of the ball. Spartans ball possession. We got a substitute on the Spartan side. Coach Jerome is putting in his second string players, so everybody gets some play time. And she gets the ball immediately, makes her first attempt. It's an effort, it didn't make it. Panthers ball possession. They're quick business. They go in immediately for the kill. Turnover, Spartans ball possession. And it's a turnover, quickly. Dasha went up for it. Another attempt. Spartans ball possession. This is high pace now, guys. Travel. <laughs> yeah. Dasha had a, a moment of travel. She forgot to dribble. <laughs> Coach Janine calling for defense. She wants them to be in a zone, stick to their girls. Yep, and they're on it. It's a struggle, jump ball. Spartans maintain ball possession. And the audience has uh, been warned by the referee to keep the ball steady. And it's jump ball. Here they go, struggle again. And she makes another attempt, intercept it. Panthers ball possession. The struggle is real. Many attempts, rebounds. Foul. It's two free throws. That was a defensive foul, so... Dasha is being substituted. She did a great job being the point guard as a relief. She substituted for Caitlin earlier, who had shin splints. First one's good, number 13, Vipasha. First free throw is great. She's being instructed where to stay behind the line. She gets another free throw. Focused, everyone's ready. Vipasha. Second free throw, and it's no good. Yep, in and out, that happens. We've got Spartans coming up with the ball. That defense on the Panther side is heavy. And another attempt, Panthers possession. Good rebound. Passes to Ria, Mia. Heavy defense. Spartans ball possession. Do I need to inbounce the ball? And another attempt by Mega. Number seven, heavy on her dribble, makes an attempt. No oh, good. Rebounds her own shot. Jasmine's active. Oh, it is a strike, and the hustle pays off. <laughs> Spartan had to take control. Defensive foul on the Panthers player. We've got about a minute and 57 seconds in the game. I love how the intensity doesn't 
change. <laughs> it goes up. <laughs> These girls are tenacious in what they're doing. Heavy defense. Ball gets inbounded, double teaming. Indecision, defense. Panthers are all over it. They're playing a zone. And final attempt. Panthers ball possession. That defense paid off. And you think she is indestructible. She's back in the game. Number six. <laughs> Caitlin is back. Back like she never left. <laughs> That's amazing. She handles those shin splints like it's nothing. Oh, a three-point attempt. And uh, that was a misser. Good attempt. I am highly impressed with this. Not a lot of people can withstand the pain of shin splints. Okay, she's taking it easy and makes a three-point attempt. Rebound by the Spartans. Some haphazard passing there. Playing with the... Oh! And that was a three-point attempt, intercepted. There we go, Caitlin's back on the ball. She goes all the way in, up for a Euro, and it's good. Amazing Euro step. Tirelessly. I think uh, we're looking at, uh, I'll be very careful to say, but I think that's the MVP of the game. <laughs> if, I, if I'm biased, that's the MVP of the game. <laughs> Sometimes boys cry a lot when they're shin splints and they take flops on the floor and roll around. And then there's a, a young lady here that just braves it all. Yes. All right, Spartans rebound. These girls do not give up. Another three-point attempt. Rebound, Panthers. They control the ball. There it goes. Caitlin yet again. Oh, holds, holds her balance and passes to Jasmine. And another attempt. Intercepts the ball. Unintentional. That's the game. <laughs> uh, yes, that's the third quarter. This is amazing. Uh, there's a lot of conditioning on their part. You can tell that they uh, do a lot of cardio because to, to be at it so long and at that intensity is hard to, uh, yeah, you have to, you have to. I mean, I don't, I don't see them um, complaining. Like there's nobody there. Yeah, <laughs> like, exactly. I want to thank everyone for tuning in to uh, sport.cw. Um, I recently heard the history of the development of this brand and I must say it's woman powered and we're at a woman powered game and I'm very impressed with uh, the quality of uh, the broadcast, uh, just the angles that are being taken and also just uh, the intimacy of the game. It's uh, definitely a, a a very pleasant experience to watch basketball from this angle. You can see the emotion, you can see the interaction, and uh, this is what makes it, it natural, it makes it fun. Gloria, we've got your back. Yes, the huddle. This is what coaches do to get their players focused, even when it is the last section of the game. You see Coach Jerome speaking courage into them. They're still smiling, they're still optimistic, happy, yes. They, they know the purpose of the game. That's the, the whistle, 
So we have another. There they are, Panthers shouting. It's Panthers ball possession. Current score is 36, Panthers 16, Spartans. Caitlin on the ball, playing point. Passes to the center, goes up, and it's good. Two more points for the Panthers. Spartans continuing. And Caitlin repossesses the ball, goes up for a layup. Spartans ball possession, quick pass, close to the bucket, top of the key, takes a shot. No good. Spartans ball possession. And there's, yep, Jasmine at it. Dasha playing heavy defense. I think she's the one who's uh, playing supportive point. Good defense, heavy defense, trying to deny the ball inbound. They're pressing, heavy press on the Spartans. Panthers don't give an inch. And it's good. Spartans. Another two points. Nine minutes on the clock. They still got time. Panthers pass the ball. First attempt, rebound by the Spartans. Intercepted. Dasha took control of it. Passed it to Rhea. Rhea goes up one more time, holds on to the ball. Passes it to Dasha, dribbles out. And there's a shot. Shania took the shot. It was no good, but they're back on defense now. Spartans back on defense. Spartans back on offense. Intercepted by the Panthers. Rhea goes up. Passes it to Caitlin. Spartans possession going for a fast break. Foul. Offensive foul. Delhi couldn't convert. It's uh, short. Timeout by Coach Jerome. Coach Janine. Calm. She's ahead of the game, so she's just relaxed, telling the leads and the main players in her team to stay on top of it, stay focused. Look at each other, play together. A lot of charisma, play defense, grab the ball. Team spirit, they're back in it. Panthers leading the game so far, 38 to 18. Since it was a two-point attempt, they get two free throws. Spartans ball possession, first attempt. No good. Mm. 
Delhi going for a second free throw, and it's good. Sub on the Spartans end. Ball possession. Panthers. Caitlin brought up the ball. Ready, she'll make a three-point attempt, and it, oh, that was a close call, guys. She saw it, and she gets the ball again. Interception, passes the ball. Oh, goes all the way. <laughs> They're on top of it. Steal. That's Dasha going up all the way. Defense on the Spartans is tight. <laughs> Caitlin on point. Panthers ball possession, passes it to her center. That one goes in, tries to penetrate. And it's good, number 13. Fipasha. Coach Janine very excited at this point. <laughs> Spartans attempt, intercepted, Caitlin. Brings up the ball, point guard. She's looking for another attempt. There, goes to her center, and it's a shot by Dash. Another attempt, Miss passes the ball out. Oh, it was unexpected. <laughs> but Caitlin has it, goes for a three, and yet another attempt. Spartans try to close the gap. A bit of confusion on the team. Got subs coming in on the Panthers side. We've got the indestructible Caitlin bringing up the ball again. <laughs> She's looking for her teammates. Gives it to the center. Considered blocking. Panthers ball possession. She's calling for it again. You weet what er gaat gebeuren. She's already read the whole playbook and she knows what's happening. She knows where the ball's going and they anticipate it, got ball possession. There it is. They worked it out. They knew exactly what was going to happen. All right, goes to the center. Vipasha goes in, up. So they get a defensive foul called against them. The Spartans uh, pull the foul. So now we have the Panthers who will be allowed one, uh, I see, one throw. Vipash on the ball. That's Shania. Correction, Shania going for her second shot. Big hustle, big hustle on the Spartan side. <laughs> and an attempt on the Spartan side, yet another attempt. That defense is heavy on the Panther side right now. And it's a jump ball. These, these girls don't, they don't budge. <laughs> they, yes, all out, all in. You got a sub. Vipasha swapping out for Rhea. Rhea's gonna inbound the ball to Caitlin. They've got a play to run. They already set up, they know what's going on. Runs a screen for her. 
Gives her the ball back, and it's good. A three point. Yep. That was a play. You weet what gaat gebeuren. Spartans. Oh, intercepted. They, they anticipate everything. Caitlin going up, passes the ball up to her teammate. Spartans repossess the ball. Caitlin still putting pressure. Comes back for defense. All of them heavy on defense. Travel. Yeah, it happens. When there's good defense, the offense usually walks. <laughs> Yep. All right. It's been a good game for Caitlin. Uh, second string number 17 coming in, Dasha. She'll be the point guard. That happens. It's just good defense on the Spartan side. Intercepted, fast break, defense again. Good defense, Spartans. Out of bounds. Panthers out of bounds. There are a lot of lines on this court. I don't blame anyone. <laughs> so <it's, laughs> you got to know which one to follow and which one to stay out of. <laughs> Spartans coming back up with the game. Number five on the Spartan ends. Attempting to penetrate. Hustle, hustle, hustle. Spartans maintain possession. Another three-point attempt. Air ball. The girls do their best. And that's that's what counts. They're they're definitely not giving up at their end. Yes. Panthers ball possession. Got about Three minutes, 20 seconds to go in the game, and uh, ball possession, Spartans. Hmm. Heavy defense by the Panthers. Out of inbound, and they're right on top of it. Double teaming, triple teaming. One first attempt, ball possession. Panthers passes it, fast break. Mia, Rhea, Spartans repossess the ball. Oh, Mia, Rhea took possession of the ball, goes up, and there's the defense on the Spartans' side. This is a tall defense, guys. <laughs> Oh, and there's that the hesitation, which turns into a travel. Sometimes you just got to follow your intuition. <laughs> Go for it. It's a timeout, Coach Jerome. I admire this sportsmanship and spirit. They are, they are, till the very end, they're going for it. Yes. Well, that, that brings up the point that you just went for it. Yeah. Oh, Gloria. Yeah, that, exactly. That's where we are now. You just went for it. Don't give up. Just take a try. Yes. You never know. Yes, just yes. I, I want to encourage everybody to show support to uh, this channel. Tell your friends. Tell your family if you're a fan of the sport. Uh, it's essential for us as a community in Curacao to appreciate what is 
done and what has been promoted already and not wait for something else to come. But it, you've got uh, sport.cw right now and it, in its existence and it's been um, a journey for Gloria. So I'm, I want to encourage you uh, to support and appreciate if you are interested in sponsorship opportunities definitely take a chance and reach out and uh, there are packages that are available during several sports so it's not just basketball you've got korbal you've got baseball and any other uh, active sports that are on the island uh, where cw sport.cw is involved in broadcasting and making you share the experience from the comfort of your home or your car or wherever you may be streaming right now so I uh, encourage you to support local I love pioneers like Gloria is a pioneer and uh, th this is what it takes to develop into broadcasting um, the team that she has here the young men are doing excellent work and um, everybody is playing a team role at uh, sport.cw. Definitely worldwide right now. Share with your family across the globe. If you have people in Holland, in Nederland, we are also in tune up at the moment. We are happy that you are saying. And as you na feest, maybe you will come tomorrow to the broadcast. Also, thank you for the stream. En het deelnemen aan uh, de activiteiten hier. Jouw manier om present te zijn op het eiland. We hebben nu de Spartans. Ze krijgen een free throw. Uh, unchallenged. And it's good. Panthers ball possession. <laughs> As defense on the Spartans end. <laughs> ja, armen uit. Yes, it's it's a rushed attempt. They saw it coming. <laughs> Last sub. Caitlin's back on. Caitlin bringing up the ball. Uh, Panthers, she wants that three-pointer. She wants that three-pointer really bad. <laughs> the Spartans uh, are playing a zone defense right now. Every time the, the Panthers come up, I, I think they're using their height to their advantage. Um, there is a ma mismatch in height. The Panthers' second string team is a bit shorter, but they definitely got the hustle in them. Passes, passes, passes. The girls are working together. Decisions to the center. And that's a foul call on the Panthers. So we've got uh, Sinead taking her attempt. First free throw for Shanae. And it's good. She gets her second one. Everybody ready for defense and rebound. And Panthers hustle for it. <laughs> That's Caitlin in action. <laughs> got defense heavy defense on the Panthers side up oh, indecision Spartan repossess the ball and calls for it and makes a three-point attempt no good Panthers struggling to keep control of the ball got the Spartans on it and it's still Spartans ball possession
Panthers in the zone defense. First attempt, no good. And a rebound, no good. Oh, bit of dribbles over there. <laughs> nice. And it's good. You hear him, guys. Yep, that defense works. Panthers' defense is aggressive. These girls got it. Throughout the whole game, I've had a hard time picking sides. <laughs> I can't pick sides. No, they're both there. And then another one, that's Dasha. Dasha on the Panthers' side. I admire the hustle. And another three-point attempt. Rebound by Caitlin. Passing to Dasha. She's the point. We've got an injury on the court. And, the, and there's sportsmanship. We've got Nate looking out for her. There we go. Requesting a timeout. And at the end of the game, there's a lot of uh, stress on the muscles. So she's cramping and uh, she needs the same kind of treatment for her calves. So she's being uh, stretched just so she can recover and walk it off. It's important for her not to walk at this moment, but just, uh, yes, stretch. Just so the muscle can relax again. Again, good sportsmanship on both teams, yes. Coach speaking to her uh, to focus on her breathing and uh, less on the pain, but calm herself down so she can actually, that's why she has her arms up, just inhaling and exhaling and taking her time to recover from it. Yeah, we've got beautiful people here. We've got beautiful people here. <laughs> I, I, I would love to see the audience, actually. Uh, if you can share the audience. Can you share the audience? Yeah, definitely. Uh, we've got Caitlin the whole game through. She's, she's been, and there's her teammate. Yes, good recovery so far. Fortunately, she can walk it off. Uh, she'll just have to ice it. <laughs> All right, we have 10 seconds on the clock. Game back on. The score is 47 to 22, Panthers ball possession. Dasha gets the ball, passes it to Caitlin. She wants that three-pointer. Let's see what she'll do. <laughs> she gives it to Dasha. Yeah, that's fair. They're on defense. One. And that's it. That's the game. This is an awesome experience. Yeah, that's the audience. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Sport.cw. The boys. Definitely. It's been an honor experiencing this game. Great sportsmanship, great positive attitudes. The girls are just joyful in the game of basketball and they're fair. Yes, great character, fun game and uplifting, very uplifting. There they go. Captains, teammates,
this is an example of how good games and good sportsmanship can build character. There they are. Even to the injured player, they're taking their time and connecting. This game was brought to you. Yet another one. There she goes. <laughs> they're strong. This game was brought to you uh, by very considerate sponsors. And we want to thank all the contributing sponsors to Sport.CW. Continue to support Sport in Curaçao. Continue to support this channel. It is a pioneering experience and it's a growing audience that we're entertaining. So yet again, when you want sponsorship opportunities, there are packages and branding opportunities that can uh, bring a good return to your business. Support the youth, support this channel so that you can support the future of sports in Curaçao and media. There they are, Spartans. There it is with Coach Jerome. And then on the other end, we've got the Panthers with Coach Janine. Huddle. Team spirit, that's how it's done. I want to thank you, Gloria. Thank you very much. My, my privilege and um, I'm glad you're this spontaneous pioneer and I wish you much success with what you're doing. You. I, 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 I see a great future for this channel. Thank you, dear. Good night. See you guys tomorrow at the softball team at uh, Sam Burnting. <laughs>